Hi everyone, it's Liam here from Rating the Races. So we're going to have a look at the chasers that caught my eye in terms of their handicap marks um, from Cheltenham. Uh, starting off with Giovinco, who arguably ran a really good race in the Brown Advisory, the three mile handicap, uh, the three mile novice chase. Um, I still want to call it the RSA chase. I think it's just easier. Um, the three mile finishing third behind Monty's. It's not Monty's pass, is it? Monty's something and fact of file monty's hero monty's star monty's star and fact of file they were beating giovinco but giovinco ran a really good race um, and was close enough to demonstrate that probably the horse is a graded performer um might not be quite grade one top top class in my opinion though with that in mind they could certainly look at those graded races next season in england um you know beaten by two irish horses in fact of file and monty's star target those graded races in England but before that go and win this novices champion handicap steeplechase at air on Saturday the 20th of April it's got decent prize money for winning it it's a novice event it's a handicap event um I, I think after he finished third a lot of people were saying he should have been running in the Ultima well now's the time to go to uh, a handicap you definitely know that you've got a good horse there and only going up two pound to 148 if you liked him for the old teamer you'll still like him for um the race at air off the back of that um and it, yeah uh post in my uh twitter um post about this horse i said it could be a nice warm-up for lucinda russell who i think will have a big chance in the scottish grand national as well with your own story um so yeah i'm hoping we see giovinco go to air for this three mile handicap um, where i think he would run a very big race Next horse I want to talk about is Calico, who dropped a pound to 142. Now, Calico is all about speed. He just about stays two mile. So when the ground was riding as soft as it was on Wednesday, he didn't really have a chance. That's why he drifted massively. That's why Harry chose not to ride him. Harry was on um, Unexpected Party, who won the race. And yeah, I think we can totally cross this effort out. I think he could be another one, though, for Aintree, for Dan Skelton, for this two-mile handicap. Where is it? The Close Brothers Red Rum handicap. Got to remember, last season, before falling at Aintree, he'd actually got John Bon off the bridle a little bit. Now, I know John Bon was going to comfortably beat him in the end, but that was John Bon that was going to beat him comfortably. Send him back to Aintree. Let Harry... Don't go flat out, but just try and hold back a little bit. And kick away turning in. And I think Calico could be very, very hard to peg back. And it could be another one for Dan Skelton to add to his prize um, pot that he's obviously trying to build up with the trainer's championship in mind. So yeah, Calico to Aintree would be um, a uh, one that I'm quite keen on. The next horse is Kitty's Light. Now, Kitty's Light dropped a pound to 145, which is very frustrating. Um, uh, I say frustrating, it just means he's going to be at the bottom of those rated 146 um, for the Grand National, not at the top. He's never he's never had the speed for three mile one, or not in recent years. Now I know he won a race back at um, uh, Kempton a few years ago. I think he was second actually, wasn't he? Behind um, Captain Orr, but he's never demonstrated to me that really three mile is his bag. He wants as far as far can go, and his last three wins came over four mile one, three mile seven, and three mile four. That's the minimum he wants. He doesn't want any shorter than that. All this season, it's been aimed at getting him in the Grand National. I think he's going to miss out. I think he's going to be very unlucky and he's going to miss out. But if he does, he just go back to that Scottish National again. Over three miles, seven, 176 yards. And I would be pretty confident that he would take all the beatings still. Um, probably find a claiming jockey to take a few pounds off. Or Jack Tudor, who would... Yeah, I'm sure he would love to ride as well. Um, but if David Pipe runs one, then David might uh, get first say where Jack goes. Um, but yeah, Kitty's light. I still think whatever national he runs in, he'll go very close. If he gets in the Grand National, great. If he doesn't, Scottish National, and then maybe even back for that 365 Gold Cup again. The final two horses are almost along the lines of if you can't beat them, join them. So Fugitive pulled up in the Ryanair. He's not good enough for a Ryanair. Il Rodoto finished 8th in the plate. Wasn't good enough off his current mark. Now, Fugitive has dropped £3 to 154 
154 is still uh, just having a look. It is still 154. It's still three pounds higher than when winning the December Gold Cup. Il Rodoto drops to a mark of 143, which is actually the same mark as when finishing second to Fugitive in the December Gold Cup. Now, you could do one of two things with these horses. You could either come back for all of those races again next year, the Paddy Power, the December Gold Cup, um, the race in January, and try and win one. I think both of them could certainly win one off their current marks, and if they don't, they're likely to be dropped, etc. Or you could do a Langadan with them. Il Rodoto would be 7 turning 8, Fugitive is 9 turning 10. Could you run them both in graded races for a few runs? See if you can return to Cheltenham. Say Il Rodoto turned up off 140, and Fugitive could turn up off 147, 146. Both would have massive chances then in uh, the play, wouldn't they? But is the plate really a race worth saving that yourselves for? It's 67 grand this year. Uh, was it 67 this year? Let me just have a look. It was worth 67 to win it. However, the December Gold Cup was worth 74. The race in January was worth 56. And the Paddy Power was worth 90. So I would give them one more run each, both of them. Drop them a few pounds, each of them. If you drop three pounds and turn back up uh, at Cheltenham off a three pound lower mark, the pair of them, that race in um, November, the Paddy Power, for 90 grand certainly looks like a race they should be targeting. So say they dropped three pounds each, Fugitive could drop down to 151. He ran this year off 153. And Il Rodoto could turn up off 140. He ran off 144. They would both have massive chances in there. Don't worry about the plate. Forget about the plate target them at the races beforehand where the Irish don't always come over as well um, but both of those are, are looking quite interestingly handicapped be interesting to see what they do this season their last couple of runs Il Rodoto could run in say the top um, which didn't work last season and maybe Fugitive goes to Aintree for a grade one which might not work and they could both drop a few pounds um, with next season in mind so it's a shorter video for the chasers as there isn't as many the horse I'd probably be most keen on is Kitty's Light, whatever national he does get in. I really like him still. And probably Giovinco, if he does go to air, I think would take all of the beating.